What's more important, we or us? We. Man, he didn't even think about it. Dude, I think my girlfriend's really mad at me. Wait, why? I don't know. She's just been giving me angry looks all day. Ask her what's wrong. Um, Jessica, did I do something? Like, it seems like you're mad at me. Really? So you're just gonna pretend like you don't know what you did? I don't know. Like, what did I do? Oh, I don't know. Break up with me over this stupid letter? I didn't write that. Maybe this will refresh your memory. Dear Jessica, I know we've been together for a while, but I think we should end. As in, right now. If I could end us yesterday, I would, but I can't go back in time, so I'll do it right now. Good, but, goodbye. Thank you. You did this. <coughs> Why? So, so you could get with her? No. No, she's, she's not my type. What? She's not my type. Neither is any girl my type. Wait. But you are. You gotta be kidding. I'm a middle school teacher and these are some pretty harmless things that I would still ban in my classroom if I could. And if you're one of those people that's gonna come up in my comments and be like, it sounds like you hate kids. If you hate your job, maybe you should just quit. This is not for you. It's not for you. Number one is skibbity toilet. What is a skibbity toilet? And I don't mean that literally. I know what it is, but just why? Number two is this. If you're not familiar, that is mewing. And it is mostly harmless. It's usually just to be like, hey, stop talking. Work on your jawline. It can be used disrespectfully. It could be used as like a way to tell somebody to shut up, especially if it's a teacher. Or it could be like, hey, you have five chins. You need to work on your jawline. And in theory, this is really just kind of a funny thing that they're doing. But the thing is, when they're all doing it, all the time, every second, it just gets a little bit irritating. It's also not useful. I've tried it and I still have like seven chins. So that seems like false advertising. Number three, and I don't know if your students are doing this, but it's like, I'm the Chad alpha i'm i'm the sigma chad alpha and i'm like you are 12. brayden you are 12. you are not an alpha and speaking of alpha that starts with a which i noticed you don't have any of on your report card do your work sweetie and so you have three wishes okay for my first wish i wish for unlimited wishes i'm sorry you can't do that fine i wish for unlimited genies that's against the rules oh fine i wish for an umbrella okay now what? For my second wish, I want you to put it up your You sicko, fine. Ugh. Now tell me your last wish so I can leave. Now give me unlimited wishes before I ask you to open it. Oh, great heavens! Lewis, I want my graham cracker. Oh. Hey. Hey. You playing a little dress up? Yeah. Oh, hey, I want to let you know that I watched that show you recommended. What? The show you recommended to me last week. I watched it. You did? Yeah, and I wanted to thank you for the recommendation. What'd you think? Oh, dude, I have so many right now. Why'd you just... Wait, why'd you just swear you to me? You just recommended me a show and I watched it. You think, I'm gonna... you think you can do that again? I don't know, you liked the last one. I thought maybe I could... Nobody gets two in a row. Hey, Daddy. Hey, boy, how was school? Oh, it was fun, Daddy. Uh, I made a bunch of friends. And I got a girlfriend. Oh, okay. Okay, boy, I see you. Yeah, and then this old man offered me a lollipop after school. What? Yeah, I was walking home by myself, and then this old man asked me did I want to try his lollipop. Uh, boy, please tell me you didn't take that damn lollipop. Oh, no, Daddy. After a few licks, I realized it wasn't a lollipop to begin with. Okay, good, boy. For a second there, you wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You did what? Yeah, Daddy, it didn't even taste like or look like a lollipop, so I just told him to keep it. Hi, I'm Bryson, and I was a homeschooled kid, and... <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> How did I not see it earlier? See? Told ya. Thank you. Hey, rude! There's such an unfair stigma against homeschooled kids. Everyone just thinks we're weird and cringe. But most homeschooled kids grow up to be well-adjusted members of society, and we're also usually smarter than average. Usually. Weird homeschooled kid is a reductionist stereotype that puts people like me in little boxes. You did pick the right box though, I will admit. Looks like I do fit the stereotype there. Add it to the list right under dumb blonde. I was homeschooled until the sixth grade, and in all honesty, it was a great fit for me. According to this personality test I took, I am 96% introverted, so the calm of my home was a much better learning environment for me. My mom even had me try public elementary school, and I really didn't like it. Large crowds of people just inflict psychic damage on me or something. Welcome to hell. Yo, meet your roommate. 
Mary from college, but she was a great roommate. She always did the dishes. She paid all the bills. Sorry, to be clear, Mary is the one being punished. Not her, please take me to the acid pool. <laughs>